quick with the, what we will be talking about on the straight ahead on. Today we will start with Gormaya. We know for Gormaya the elections will be on the cards on 8th August. And a lot of people have been saying who exactly will take that mantle this time again. Don't uh, think about it anymore. Because again, Rachier will be the boss for the next uh, four years. And for Ambrose Rachier, unopposed. Uh, the, the electoral board actually came out yesterday. And they came out with the names of the people who are expected actually to take that mantle. Remember, Henry Kowero is the chairman of that electoral board, and it is official that Ambrose Otieno Rachier is unopposed. So they will go on that document, and if the documents are okay, then he will be the boss for another four years. We still have some other people on the cards who are saying that they also want that seat. So you think about it, I think... Uh, we know about uh, Sally Bolo. For Sally Bolo, she has been the, tre the treasurer for quite a number of times, but at this particular time, she wants to be the boss. So we wait and see how that will fare. Will she be able to take it this time out? Another member who is unopposed in that uh, fry is businessman Sam Ochola for that uh, position of the Secretary General. So we wait and see how also that will be able to transpire. For the position of Honorary Treasury, we have uh, Dolphina Ondutu and also Crispin Okod. So they're the people who they're saying that they want to talk about the money, they want to take care of Gormaya's money. So we will wait and see how exactly that will happen. But remember, this week we've had uh, quite a number of things that have been uh, hitting the headlines. And remember, for the Football Kenya Federation, they're saying that they will be having a different league altogether. And this is after the Kenyan Premier League uh, contract with the FKF. We know it is going to end and somewhere around uh, September 20-something there. So uh, the Football Kenya Federation, they're saying, we will be the bosses of the league. And they're saying, we have 1.2 billion Kenyan shillings, monies, that we expect to run the Football Kenya Federation Premier League come next uh, season. And that league, they're going to be called Bet King. This is what the president had to say. Starting the season 2020-2021 to the season... 2024-2025, FKF has managed to secure a record sponsorship for the so-called FKF Premier League worth over $12 million or 1.2 billion Kenya shillings. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, for the last three years, our players have struggled. Our officials have struggled. We have got questions about our top league that we so care about. Now, as we approach taking over the running of the FKF Premier League, we have been working for one year to ensure that when we get it, we do the right thing with it. This sponsorship starts at $2.2 million in year one and grows by 5% in year two, and grows by 10% in the subsequent years. This means at least, at least 8 million shillings per club per season. At least 8 million shillings per club per season, which also is a new record for our clubs. I have no time for time westerns. For fellows who want to sit around hotels and court houses wasting Kenyans' times, I have no time for them. If any candidate wants to challenge me, very soon uh, the door will be open. FIFA will speak, the door will be open. I expect them to walk through the door, present their nomination papers, and deal with us. These deals we are doing are for FKF. They are not for Nick Mwendo. We shall continue to do them for the game. We do not care about fellows who want to sit around hotels drinking wine at night and doing funny things. Now, allow me to bring 